Right, so this is just going to be a short little tutorial on how to do the forest section as Abby. I will empty this out because I have loaded a checkpoint uh, on grounded mode. Which, you can have this much ammo here. You can have more, in fact. I'm going to do this using only the stuff that we get on the way there. Also recommend getting momentum because it's going to be very, very helpful. Melee will be your best friend here. The holsters, the ammo, whatever you find. Just make sure you loot everything. I believe in here there should be two shotgun. Good. This stuff. Good. The full med kit. Two rifle. And then once again in here, if you turn around instantly, there should be some pistol ammo. So on the way there, six ammo total across your four guns. And I also have this melee weapon from the person, the brute you fight just outside of this place. So at this point, you want to let them spawn in really. You want to try and let Lev deal with them. I know that that's not it, so I'm going to head up here until I hear them spawn, and they just run back down. Again, we're going to see what Lev can do here. There's no point in using your ammo at this point. So you've got your break now. Just wait for it to come at you, and then... There you go, look at that. That one died in one hit because Lev had been in a fight with it. Alright, so I've got a brick already, but if you don't have a brick... There should be one across here. So you've got a brick and you've got a melee weapon for durability. I believe you can stealth this place, but I've I've not bothered to spend the time to work it out. So I, I just kind of aim to stealth kill this one, and then there'll be one through this window that spots me. I imagine if you wait a little bit for him to turn around, that's probably how you stealth it. But once again, we're going to see if Lev can do anything for us. There you go. Just wait. If we're lucky, Lev will do something else again. Uh, if it's normal luck, Lev will probably just miss them. One hit with that. Right, so now we've got to get Lev and Yara out of the room. But first, make sure you loot up everything. And also, prep windows. Prepping windows is very helpful. But if you're being chased, you don't have to stop, smash, and then go. Right, so we've got a brick. We've got our ammo. Another good thing to do is make sure you've actually reloaded because you don't want to have to stop and do that in the middle. Uh, I'll get rid of this. In fact, we won't be using this. Uh, try to do it without that. Uh, also, medkit from beforehand. So, on grounded, you can check if you're on full HP by hitting R2. And I'm not on full HP. I'm probably quite weak considering how long that took me. Um, but if Abby just puts it away, full HP. So, also, we've got bricks here, and over here, alcohol, I think there should be some ammo around here, yep, again, let's make sure I'm reloaded, alright, and I can't think of anything else, so let's go, but yeah, as I mentioned earlier, uh, I have momentum, and that's going to be really, really helpful, because it allows you to kill an enemy and then if you get momentum, which there is a way to guarantee it, is the next infected you kill, you will one shot. But for these first few runners, you're gonna wanna just wait, wait for them to come close, and then two melees and they're dead. Right, my weapon's broken. So it's also good to try and like push them against the wall if you can. Right. Should be safe to do this before the clicker gets here. Okay, so the best way for you to kill clickers, again, it can be a little bit awkward to pull off, but it's by doing what the game calls a surprise attack, which, again, I'm going to try and take out some more of the runners first. Don't want to waste my brick on the runner. Right, get a little bit of damage. Okay, out, over the top. Just trying to avoid killing the clicker right now. Just focusing on the runners a little bit. Okay, here we go. This should be an option to do it. So if you crouch on a corner with a brick, when a clicker comes near, you can do it with runners as well. It's best to do it with clickers. Like I said, it's a little bit of a pain at times. Um, you can insta-kill him. It looks like I did break the clicker a little bit. That AI can get a little bit messed up on these sorts of things. And that they'll just get stuck there. Uh, but yeah, you just want to wait. Just take it slow, basically, at this point. It's really not that dangerous. So 
So crouch on the corner, hit it once, and it falls over. Another tap is square. It's dead, and I've gained momentum. I can now one-shot another enemy with a melee. So we want to be trying to do this to all of the clickers. So again, pick up a brick. Come here. I believe one should spawn from here in a second. Hit it. Melee, and it's dead. That's momentum. Now you can punch a clicker with momentum, and it will take a bit of damage, but I don't believe it will kill it. But there you go, that's, that's kind of the first stage done. No ammo used, just melee, just the stuff in this room so far. So now, I know that another clicker is going to spawn here. You could shoot this one, but I'd recommend just, once again, crouching on a corner with a brick. Tap and square. Killing it that way. Okay, so here it comes. One. Kill. Turn. Momentum. I have to excuse my aim. I haven't played many shooter games recently. So that was wasted ammo. But you want to try to aim for the head. Shoot him in the head and then melee a clicker and it should die. So now... To make sure I get the most out of my shotgun, I'm going to try and group up the infected. So there you go, that's what I want about that the AI can get a little bit glitched sometimes. It's always good when it happens. So just really take your time with this. Yeah, this should be good. Maybe try to do a bit of a better job than I did there. Make sure whilst you're doing this sort of stuff that you are safe. There you go. I've got momentum again. Look at that. They dropped two. Momentum's gone now. It doesn't last very long. But there is a perk that you can get to upgrade how long it lasts. There you go. Making use of all my ammo. Okay, and now the shamblers are spawning. So you want to just... Avoid that. There's one Shambler dead. Kill the runner. Now we're just going to try and survive. Now I don't believe you have to kill both of them, but sometimes it just doesn't doesn't end. All right, now we're in a quite a bad spot actually because we have no ammo and we have to kill a Shambler. So just check if anything's dropped ammo. Usually this doesn't happen. I'm not sure why it's happened. But we can always just craft. I believe it might be to do with your resources. But basically, if, if this does happen, um, see what you can craft. Just try to... There you go. So, it's a certain amount of damage, it seems. You've done it, and as soon as you see Lev, Got sprint out and leave. And you're done. So, there you go. You don't really need that much ammo. I definitely wasted some, so if you're better than me, um, you'll probably leave here with some, some spare ammo. But also, you should have ammo from before this. This was doing this bit with only the ammo that you get from walking here. But most of it was stuff from the room and the top floor. And there you go. Uh, if you do have any questions, ask them in the comments. I will try my best to respond um, and be helpful. But yeah, thank you for watching. Hope this helps. Goodbye.